morning to Dr. Hassan and all my friends. My name is Chia Chai En and my matrix number is B06-2010-238. Today, my group is going to present about Toyota Motor Corporation. Toyota Motor Corporation is founded by Kichiro Toyoda in 1937. Kichiro Toyoda was born in 1894 and he is the son of Sakichi Toyoda. Toyota Motor Corporation is a Japanese multinational automotive manufacturer and its headquarters in Toyota Aichi, Japan. Toyota was the world's first automobile manufacturer to produce more than 10 million vehicles per year. Toyota also is a global market leader in sale of hybrid electric vehicles and hydrogen fuel cell vehicles. Several automotive companies under the auspices of Toyota are Daihatsu, Lexus, and Hino. Toyota also formed a Formula One team called the Panasonic Toyota Racing. The vision of Toyota is about leading the way to the future of mobility and reaching lives around the world with the safest and the most responsible ways of moving people. Toyota is committed to quality, constant innovation, and respect for the planet by exceeding expectation and be rewarded with a smile. Toyota aims to meet challenging goals by engaging the talent and passion of the people who believe there is always a better way. Defeating a car company with such a rich history, the memorable logo on the Toyota vehicles carried a deep meaning on several levels. The three ovals in the new logo merge to form the letter T, which stands for Toyota. The overlapping structure of the true vertical ellipses inside the larger ellipse represents the mutually beneficial relationship and trust between the customer and the company. The larger ellipses surrounding the two inner ellipses represents the global expansions of Toyota technology and unlimited potential in the future. Therefore, the new logo started appearing on all printed material, advertisements, dealer signage, and most of the vehicles themselves in 1990. That's all from me. Next, I will pass the video for my group members. Hi, I'm Chintiru. Now I will present about Toyota Production System. Toyota Production System is something unique. The goal is to make deliver vehicles in the quickest and most efficient way. There are two concepts, just in time and Jidoka. Just in time means parts arrive at the specific time when they are needed. Keep things running smoothly, doesn't hold any extra parts. This reduces battery size and cost. Jidoka means is is an automotion drive with a human touch. It operates on the premise that quality built during the operation system. It is also standardized work and with a high stability. Now we will look at the Toyota way. There are two ways, continuous improvement and respect for people. Continuous improvement in challenge. Challenge is a long vision to manage the challenges with the courage and creativity to realize our dreams. Kaizen. Kaizen is an improved business operation all the time by always trying for innovation and evaluation. Genchi Genbuji. Go to the source to find the facts to make a correct decision and build conscience and trust. Now let's look at respect for people. Respect. Respect others. Make every effort to understand each other. Take responsibility. Do the best to build a mutual trust. Teamwork. Teamwork is something important to share opportunity and developments and maximize team uh, and individual performance. Now, we let's look at the Toyota strategy. There are five strategies. Number one, increase competitive strengths through advanced technology, environmental technology, which is fuel consumption, emission, recoverability, hybrid vehicles, and next generation, cost reduction efforts which is this connections, integration of older models. Lastly, increase emphasizes on financial services and information communication system. Lastly, I will explain about Toyota corporate governance, which is start with board of director, including outside directors. Officers responsible for business operation by center, region, function, and process. External counting auditor, which is audit of consolidation financial statements, internal control over financial reporting. 
official responsible for business operation in the disclosure committee internal auditing department for control systems audit and supervisor board more than half of the members are outside audit and supervisor board members shareholders to emphasize frontline operation plus multi-directional monitoring Lastly, International Advisor Board, Labor Management Council, Joint Labor Management, Roundtable Conference, CSR Committee, Toyota Environment Committee. Thank you. Now my friend will continue the presentation. Assalamualaikum. I'm Anna Nualiwa and I will present about what happened to Toyota in its upside down journey mm -hmm. through these years. The headquarters of Toyota are in Toyota City, IG, the Toyota Technical Center, a building with 14 stories, the second manufacturing factory of Toyota, formerly called the Koromo facility, is the next to one another in location near the headquarters. In 2013, company had actually announced that due to lack of facilities in the area, it had difficulty keeping international workers at the headquarters. After First World War II, with wreck and chaotic economy in the 1950s, Toyota's car manufacturing plants were back in full service. In order to observe the new car manufacturing technologies, Toyota executives visited the production facilities of firms, including the Ford Motor Company. The business grew at a fast pace during the 1960s and 70s. The brand has begun to prosper in the American market earning a reputation for its low cost, food efficient, and durable cars such as the Corolla, which was introduced in 1968 in the United States. Toyota first began selling cars in Indonesia in 1971 through a joint venture. Toyota entered the industry with Astra Motor Company. Indonesia is Toyota's highest growing market in terms of market share with an overall market market share of 40% with the Toyota Avanza taking the strong lead in the last 40 years. The company achieved tremendous growth well into the 21st century. The company started to grow to new markets, directly targeting younger customers and launching the world's first premium electric car, the Lexus RX 400H 2005. However, the company faced huge financial challenges, a decline in revenue resulting from the 2008 global financial crisis, as well as a worldwide safety recall of more than 8 million cars in 2010, which briefly stopped the production and sales of some of its top models. It must suggest a significant loss of confidence among Toyota consumers and therefore a substantial deterioration of the brand value of the company. Through, uh, through the company has now made some concrete attempts to prevent its image from further deterioration and sought to seek the restoration of its image. The next point, I'll pass it to my group member. Hi, Andre. I will talk about how does Toyota solving problem. The problem solving process involves three steps. Problem assessment, problem comparison, encouraging individual to concentrate resources on the most relevant things. First, problem assessment is the ability to collect, analyze, and elevate data in order to make sound and effective decisions. Second, problem comparison. People should concentrate their attention on the minor aspect that influence and that directly affect them. Third, encouraging individuals to concentrate resources on the most relevant things. In this way, by attracting the bigger option, a lesser amount of considering attention creates larger outcome. Next, border problem. Border problems are resolved by management direct and management control practice, such as Kazan training management. It's also the duty of management to define the organization goal, to find weak points in the structure, and to apply the necessary resources. Therefore, Toyota is capable of capturing a huge opportunity by involving facilitating individual effort. Next, basic problem solving skill. Toyota gives its worker basic problem solving skill so that everybody becomes a problem solver. 
Delta can easily exploit human capability with thousands of individuals addressing challenges on a regular basis. The symbol is suitable for most issue from. Last, method of problem solving. Toyota Panel discovered that the method of problem solving is like reading a story. A good story has an introduction already. In the center, character growth and contents. A climax, a hit of sequence. The method of problem solving has different chapters or phases. Finally, a good problem solving process can flow seamlessly between each stage with a direct relation from one to the other. That's all for my part. Thank you. Next, I will invite my group member to continue the presentation. I am Jin Jamin and I want to present the impact of suggested solution. And the first is TPS. TPS is Toyota production system. It's the main process for Toyota grid success compared with any competitor. Toyota can produce grid greater result in the shorter time with less effort and consistently. And the second, Toyota Way 6 to identify and remove barrier to perfection. The choice present is to remove the object or to fill. That's the key to ensuring that the right problem is solved in the right way. The inverse of a problem is an opportunity. It becomes a reality only when the organization culture focuses on continuous improvement in all organizations, including Toyota, there are practically endless problems and opportunity. And next is tactical planning of Toyota. Is the strategic plan of Toyota is to provide as guide and coordinate the development, research, marketing, and all commercial activities of the entire automotive industry. And the second is the annual planning is a performing cost and a benefit analysis of exciting and potential customer maintaining positive business relationship to ensure future sales. Toyota will predict competitive products plans and strategy, understand new product reviews and marketing plans to create annual and monthly sales forecast for each model. Operational planning of Toyota is linked to hybrid planning process. The goal of Operation operating planning to generate a product plan that balance demand and supply in profitable way. Then reading used to motivate others and encourage staff. Toyota is a base people based management system. Toyota release production dependent of staff, not just machine. Toyota Laws employers to stop the production line when problems are discovered. Toyota believe that the leadership is not let one person become a leader. The ability to make one person a leader is ability to inspire another person. And thank you. And the next point I will pass to my group member. Thank you. Thank you to Jinjamin for the previous slide. So next, we move to the thirdly, management tools and methods, which is organizing. Toyota capability to handling crisis and ideas to move forward against other companies. A crisis such as conflict be able to paralyze productivity, but it can be present opportunities for learning and improvement if it dealt with constructively and effectively. Toyota have a rigid corporate culture and a hierarchy of seniority reacting to external threats slowly. Firstly, Toyota Board of Directors, composed of 29 Japanese men, all of whom are Toyota insiders. The person named Akio Toyoda was educated at Babson College in United States, had become the CEO at the beginning on the safety scandal, were taking steps to turn around the structure and culture to create a responsive company. Toyota does recognizing the role of group things, insularity, and slow decision making so the company could restructure to decentralize. For new structure, North America, South America, Europe, and Africa now report to regional CEOs. The company also appointed its first outside directors, bringing in non-Japanese and non-Toyota voices to allow more diverse opinions to reach the CEOs. 
last but not least, management tools and methods can be seen by controlling. Controlling refers to the measurement of actual performance against the set standards. The main purpose of controlling is to ensure that business operations conform to the organizational standards. An effective control system should be able to detect any possible deviation before it occurs. First and foremost, Toyota adopted more quality-based performance assessment system to prevent such incidents in the future. This can be achieved by linking employees' performance to quality. Next, Toyota abandoned the idea of using temporary employees on contract because this was partly responsible for the quality problems. New contract employees did not understand about the company's culture and principles well. Their priority was on making as much vehicles as possible to earn more money. However, Toyota closely monitors its operations and evaluates its performance against organizational targets from the auditing skills. Any deviation from the set standards is adjusted through appropriate corrective measures can be clearly seen in the way Toyota handles an accelerator crisis. Next, I will pass to Aizu Izuan for the conclusion. Thank you. Conclusion is... Toyota is a very profitable multinational business influenced by the globalization process. Toyota has proven that that is trustworthy organization. Toyota operates globally with plan in nearly all parts of the globe, while its car is recognizable in all countries around the world. Then, they led the way as in Indonesia towards middle class families. Toyota is also working on a further engine group, probably integrating electrical components with an alternative fuel source other than gasoline and becoming a hybrid vehicle. Toyota has been preparing their vehicle to be the most eco-friendly since 2000. The introduction of the hybrid in 2000 is the first electric car in 2012 were major advance, advancement that placed the industry at the forefront. Then, some of the Toyota rivals are Ford, Nissan and Honda. Many models of vehicle with different design and function have been developed by Toyota to simultaneously, simultaneously draw more buyers to, to their product distinction between other rivals. A name that represents quality and reliability has been developed by Toyota. Even after the crisis, Toyota was able to regain the public's confidence and repair its reputation. This illustrates that the Toyota Corporation has a good reputation such that it can be very responsible for retaining its position on the market even though they are a new entrance on the market sustaining growth would enable Toyota to remain at the top of the market and make plans for Toyota to take Camry from a highly reliable car and make it a very remarkable car that has enhanced looks and features Toyota has introduced a successful strategy that works uh, localizing their goods based on local demands and the price is just a bit different because it adapts to each market. By finding their product that suits the local demand, Toyota could strengthen their its strategy and works hand on it to remain the leading brand in the automotive industry and grow its sales around the world. Thank you.